Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another amazing episode of the Pitchside Podcast. And as usual, I am not alone. The lineup is amazing. Mm -hmm. Today, it is even legendary on another level. Yes. Another yes. level. Another we level. are elevating. Yeah. We are taking it higher. Next level. Can you guys ring? Next level. Next level. Yeah. Very no, little first floor. Yeah. Now, we're sixth floor. Sixth I don't know, Bari. Hey. Yeah. We <laughs> Welcome to the show and thank you very much for gracing us with your presence. Thank you so much, Naves. It's um, a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Hey, Tommy Tommy. Yes, sir. Ah, All right. Dominator. So uh, you can call me a legend today. Yes. We've got a serious legend. Yes. Because yeah, I know in South Africa we just play with this word legend, legend, legend mm -hmm. until we know with the real legend. But mm -hmm. I'll just call him. We're talking um, Champions League. Okay. Um, okay. On, on Sunday, we saw the boys come out and put out another beautiful display of football mm. and uh, managed to win the game 3-0, uh, which is the first game in the group stages. How important is it for the boys to have won this first game in the group stages? Naves, I think it was very, very important, crucially important. It's just like when you go to the Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Yes. The first game kind of sets the tone of how your tournament will, will go. Mm. So it was very, very important for Sundowns to win this game. Yes. And, and, and set the tone yes. for, the next, for the next matches. Because uh, if you lose points early in the stages of the, of the, group, the group stages, Yes then it kind of derails you. Mm. You become desperate. Mm. You, you, you try playing catch up now. That's not good. So you need to set the tone. And it was not just a victory, but it was a dominating victory. Yeah. And I think yeah. it, it, it was good for the team. Yeah. yeah, I was listening to the coach of the mm. opposition speaking about them being their first time in Champions League. Mm -hmm. um, but I also then previously before that, we had spoken to Coach Rulani and even amongst ourselves about the fact that every time we've played a team from Maritana, in fact, let's just say Bafana Bafana, uh, the two games we've played, we've never won against them. So it's also yeah. not to say that they come from a weak uh, a country. country, yes. They sure. come from a strong country of football because even when, when the coach was speaking, you could hear that um, he, he it's Champions League. He's yes. uh, uh, admitting that we need to learn how to play Champions League because we have never been here. Mm -hmm. Quite true. I, I think they might uh, not have been there before, yeah. but you could see that it's quite an experienced team. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you could see um, the aggression Yes. When they when they tried to win back the ball, and you could also see their style of play. Mm. They don't panic. Mm. Yes, they are aggressive, but when they have the ball, you could see they tried to impose themselves. Mm. Pity those sundowns just didn't allow them to imp yeah. to impose themselves on the game. But mm. they are quite a very decent side, yes. very experienced. You could see it's just that they don't have the experience yeah, at that level. That level. Mm. Uh, Sompo, how do we deal with aggression? Looking at the way the Mami Lodi Sundowns way of playing, how do we deal with uh, aggress aggression, far much more physical players? Mm, I think, uh, as uh, Bati, uh, I alluded like uh, the style of play. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe the, 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 the nature of yeah, the tournament itself, mm -hmm. it tells you or, uh, you need to, you don't have to change your DNA. Yes. And as Sundowns, they, as they say, uh, you say that they didn't give the, the opposition enough time, you know, to 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 to, to battle them mm. and to 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 make sure that they push them back. Yeah. So what you do, you must make sure that you use the ball well. Yes. And uh, Sundowns uh, team now, they know how to use the ball mm. well. And uh, that allows them to, to be injury free in terms of that uh, that uh, confrontation yes, of the of, 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 of yeah. the opposition but i love the fact that um, even even though they know how to use the ball mm. they still know the nature of this tournament mm. that you still have to score goals yes and it's a game of goals as, as, as mr kwanahita is saying yes. uh, that uh, the first game was very 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 important mm. to make sure that you set your tone um uh, for the rest of yeah. the tournament that yeah. um once you win that that you're not gonna 
come with a calculator. You yeah. don't need that. <laughs> you you home and drive because you can easily calculate to, to say at home if I win my my, my matches, home. Mm. I'm home and dry. I'm yeah. I'm in the next round uh, already. So I think with the with the with the approach, I, I must say. Uh, credit to the boys because you can tell that they have matured in that space now. Um, you know, we mustn't take away from that the team uh, played uh, against uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. Yeah. They pushed Mamelodi Sundowns yeah. back, and if it was an easy match, I, I, I'm sure we will we'll be talking about a ten and ten nil score. Yes. But you can tell that the, it was a, a team, a, a, a match of two teams that were mm. very well coached. They know what they they are they are they are they are, they are playing for. Mm. They know that this tournament is more important, and they know that uh, to be in the Champions League, you need to win your your, your domestic league. Yes. So that tells so you that this is a champion uh, 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 team. Team. And yeah, they've won. I mean, they've won their um, league for yeah. the last five times, five yeah. years, five seasons. Yeah. yeah. They've yeah. been winning it, so they're definitely not an easy team. Mm. Um, we're now coming into it and looking at the entire group. Yeah. I think this might be the group of death because sure. it is a very difficult group with pyramids mm -hmm. and uh, TP Mazembe as well. True, true. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think uh, <clears throat> pyramids for me are the sleeping giants of Egyptian football. That's mm. true. Uh, granted, uh, Zamalek and Al Ali have dominated, yeah. but pyramids, I, I, I wonder, Naves, there was a time where they actually brought Rivaldo from Brazil. Yes. Mm. And he played for them. Yes. I mean, that's, yes, that's a serious that's team. Huge. That's mm. a serious team. Mm. And uh, they've got an owner who has invested quite a lot into the team. Yeah. Mm. He wants to elevate the, st um, the, the stature and the standard of the team to mm. the level of Al Ali and Zamalek. Mm. You can see um, how they are no longer um, prepared to dwell where angels fear to tread. Yes. Now they are trying to punch above their the weight, weight division. They they are there and thereabouts. They are second, third, sometimes even even first. Yes. And so it just goes to show you the ambition and the um, um, the desire mm. to also be counted among. And and remember, I think in Africa, yes, if you want to be taken seriously, mm. you've got to compete in the Champions League. Ah, thank you. Sir. Ah, thank you. Yeah. I think it's there's a shift that's happening in football worldwide where you'd find leagues were previously dominated by one or two teams. Yeah. But now there's other teams that are coming up and are being a thorn to the big teams. Mm. Yeah, it's good for the game. Mm. I know, I know that some people are saying, you know, you can't change tradition and all that, but the problem with uh, traditionally strong teams is that they tend to rely on their historic past yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. and it, it catches up with mm. them because other teams want to get to their level yes. and they end up actually uh, surpassing that level yeah. in yeah. ghana yeah. we used to have asante, asante kotoko Koto yeah. and 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 hearts of yes. yes. but now you have mediema mm. and, and and other teams that are coming up mm. so look at look look in botswana yeah. there used to be uh, a township rollers, rollers and Khaboron united now you have Joanen galaxy mm. who shocked Oof. the continent and they're doing weekend. very well yeah. they are and they not only beat pirates but they've also beat, defeated uh, with that uh, mm. so that just goes to show you that uh, as you say mm. the trend is changing it is mm. no longer the traditional mm. uh, historical clubs that are dominating. Yeah. Others are coming up as well, and it's good for the game. And it's good for, for, for players as well. Yes. Mm. Night, like you say, um, players back in the days, they, in Egypt, they wanted to play for Al Ali or, uh, or, 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 or Zamali. Yes. Now, when, uh, when the, 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 the owners of Pyramids came in, mm. Um, I saw Mohammed uh, Ramadan Sobi went to Fahri Lake. Fahri Lake is there. Yes. Um, yeah, Oof. Ali Kabar went to to to, to, to exactly. Perme. and that tells you that uh, we no longer want to play for 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 whoever calls himself a big because of the history. No, or no, no, no. We want to play for a team important. that is ambitious, wants yes. to win trophies, wants to go as far as um, you know exposing our talents in a, in a bigger stage mm. yeah. and um, we, we're talking about the Champions League yes. the Champions League uh, players want to play in the Champions League mm. and and, and I can tell you now that the players that are playing in the Champions League now you find out they don't have an opportunity uh, in, their, in their respective countries to play for the national team yes but they will take this and treat this as a, as a national uh, benchmark to say yeah. we're competing in the national tournament where 
every country they come with their pride to say we're representing this country yeah. medium uh, uh, coming from ghana they will yes. be representing ghana at that, yeah. that level so players want to be exposed to that level to say no we want to be here and be counted amongst the best players in the world and you want to be tested as a player to say uh, i can play for the history yes but if the history doesn't want to go to to the level where they're competing then i might as well go to a team that will uh, continuously be in that space of, of competing. I think it's important as well because then it also gives you opportunity to play the um, club, club World Cup, club World Cup, you know, Ex and Super then, Cup, yeah, Super and, Cup, and, 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 yes. and those and mm. those things. Which I don't think, if you're not ambitious as a football team, mm. that those spaces then become difficult for you to even try and think about getting into them. Yeah, yeah. Naves, I think um, what is important. Klompo was talking about, you know, credit to the, you also credited the boys for a well-deserved victory. But mm -hmm. I think South Africans should now start looking differently at sundowns because mm -hmm. sundowns, for me, changed the perspective of of the Champions League. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a time where we said, abu bani, abu bari mm -hmm. I mean, uh, this competition yes. is not important. 100%. Yeah. But sundowns, by <clears throat> going there yeah, seriously, yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. Mm. Year in, year out, yeah. going in there, challenging, and eventually Krompos Group winning it in mm. 2016. And now they've won the African Football League as well. Yeah. It just goes to show you. Now, when you go out of the country, it is no longer, ah, Kaiser Orlando. Yeah. Or, or Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. You know? Now it's sundown. Yes. Mm. And I remember I heard um, one of the Chiefs players saying, we must, we must change this narrative when you go out of Africa. People say sundowns, sundowns, mm. sundowns all the time. This just goes to show you how important it had been for sundowns to yeah. take Pan-African club competitions very seriously. Yes. Now, the entire country are looking at the Champions League and the Confederation Cup mm. differently. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Influence. Absolutely. Mm. So, and as I said, you cannot consider yourself a big club if you are not competing among Africa's big clubs, no. Africa's no. giants, 100%. you've got to prove space. your pedigree among the best Africa has to offer. Mm. Then you can say you are a big club. I yeah. think the biggest problem we have as football fans in South Africa is football heritage. Because yeah. Yeah. for the yeah. longest time, yeah. we there was only two teams. Yeah. Yeah. And we, can, we could never comprehend anything outside of that. So now time has moved on but people are still stuck in an era to say in whatever whatever year mm -hmm. you know this is what i miss and this was and that gonna hit the mention uh, i think he, he very he explained it very well when he says the, the game will pass you yes if you are comfortable with mm -hmm. what you're doing at that particular mm -hmm. moment mm -hmm. and uh, you can tell by 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 the the, the, the noise that is is continue to be in the country to say the bigger team is this one because he did this and this mm. 10 years ago mm. and we can easily say in players you are as good as your last game yes so in in every way in your in in life in part of life um you are as good as what you're doing now yes so we and, acknowledge what you acknowledge in what you yeah, did in we the past. lift our heads yeah, yeah but then but, you, what what then now you yeah. know what i mean what are you gonna do from here and and what are you gonna give us differently yes. than what you gave us in the in the past so yeah. i think we we need to move with the time and, yeah. and try to accept that you know the game is, is changing, changing and uh we'll we'll end up um checking uh, uh your, your son names like yeah. do you know that case that she was once do you know that all the pirates was once? Do you know that Mami Louis Sanders was once? And that uh, should go in line with where the, the football at the time will be. Yes. You know what I mean? 100%. So we, 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 in, 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 in our football, we used to think Barcelona was un, mm. un, un, untouchable. untouchable. We didn't think it would end. Now, 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 what Barcelona needs to re 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 respond to that. Yes. And as a big team, you have to respond, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. So yeah. if you have a tag, yes. you have a responsibility to always respond to that. Mm. And as Mamdi mm. Sandans, as you say, um, they've got a huge responsibility to mm. make yes. sure that the South African flag is up there and, and every it keeps day. Up yeah. There. And when I saw their last performance uh, over the weekend, and I was like, this is what we call a, a championship team. Uh, you know, you 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 don't sleep up after you 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 no. you, you gain no. so much success you still want to improve you still want to do more and you know that and so as long as you're given that opportunity mm. uh, you must make sure that you use them wisely Klompo, i think you will recall that uh, al ali are known as the club of the century yes why 
because F1, so year many. in year out yeah. they always want to win the league mm. so that they should qualify for the Champions, Champions League. league. Yeah. They know that for the brand to grow is for them to take part in the Champions League, play amongst the best mm -hmm. continuously, of the best. Yes. Continuously. Yes. You know, they don't say, no, this year we're taking a break. Because we won uh, last because year. Because we won last year. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they still yeah. want to, to win the yeah. league this year so that they must go back mm. and challenge themselves more. Because mm. football is a game of results. It also, it also helps the players. Yes. Ah, yes. You know, because the more players take part in club pan african club competitions yes the greater experience they have mm. so it makes the work easier for the national coach to say you know what these yes. boys i've seen them in champions league yes. or confed cup yeah and they performed very yeah. well yeah. and so i can select them with the knowledge that they uh, will perform yeah because they've been exposed to that environment they know what the environment is yeah, yeah. ones the ones out of them yeah. so, so i was be telling him the other day that <laughs> no I, I definitely do believe now more than ever that mm. um playing in champions league definitely does benefit not just the players but also the national team oh yeah and and the knock-on mm. effect is huge because now also we have um the the the, the sundowns ladies team that just won Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Champions oh, yeah. League. Yeah, so yeah. the effects of playing Champions League, the effects of now the Sundowns ladies winning it, the Sundowns men's team winning mm. it, will then prove dominance on the continent. Yeah. And yeah. it's a it's a knock-on effect then because yeah. the next generation is looking up at them oh, and yeah. saying, oh, yeah. I want that. Mm. I want to achieve that. So I think it's very important. Crucial. It's yeah. it's it's I think if you remember very well, I'm not too sure Tom Pom will remind me, you know, mm. whether it was in 2010. Mm. The Spanish team was built around Barcelona. Barcelona. Yes. You know, yeah. so what the coach did was to patch here and there, but the mm. core of the team was Barcelona. Yes. Now, if, if you look at Sundowns right now, mm. and you look at the last couple of matches that the national team has played, mm. at one stage, I think it was against Benin, yeah. there yeah. were six players. Mm -hmm. So the coach knows that as long as you have the core of the team coming from a one team who are club mates yeah. at that particular team yeah. and they are playing at a higher level yeah. then it makes his job much easier, easier. Yeah. so even Desiree Ellis right yes. now when she has to select Banyana Banyana mm. she looks at the Sundowns players and say <laughs> they went to the Champions League yeah. and they won it played six matches without conceding a goal yeah. and they won it yeah. so I can form my starting lineup right. around the Sundowns players do you think as South African football fans participants um because some people are fans and participants uh, it's a gray area mm. do you think we're ready to have that conversation we're not ready we're unfortunately. Not, unfortunately yes i yeah, know we're not you you hear no we're not names mm. i think a typical example was uh, for me was um a knockout competition that is still going on here in south africa where uh, supporters, we, we are to asked them, to choose a man of, of the match. match. Oh, come on. And yeah. we have missed a great opportunity, you know, to grow our game yeah. by turning it into a beauty contest. Mm. <laughs> because what we do is... Uh, because, Opinion. <laughs> yeah, yes, because Trompo yeah. is my favorite player. And by the way, hey, Trompo is my cousin. Did yes. you know that? No, no, no. No, my Trompo, mother. Trompo, your, your mother entire is family is, is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. You know, I'm not going to fight him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, because he's my cousin. Yes. So, as a result now, what do I do? Even if he didn't have a particularly good, good game, game, but because he's my cousin, I vote for him. Ah. You see, that is that is it's where we are football. getting it wrong. Mm. Now, now we need we need to we need to um, get our emotions out of this whole thing and look at the game practically from an observer point of view. Mm. Then we will be able to. You, that is why I say, as a country, you're quite right that. We come from a background where we were isolated by yes. the international world. Mm. As a result, we played among ourselves. Yes. Mm. We build heroes among mm. ourselves. Mm. So when we now get to be exposed to, to the rest of the world, sure. we are still cocooned in our own little world. Mm. So we need to, you know, okay. change our perspective. Yeah. Mm. I think it's going to be very important in growing the game because I just feel like there's a gap that's being opened between 
people who are knowledgeable on the game mm. and people who sometimes watch the game. And that gap is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger because now you'll find the same situation where people are voting for their favorites yeah. and not for the best player on the field. Yes. Mm. And I think we, we, we need to learn to speak about the, 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 the difficult conversation of football. <laughs> and we leave the emotions aside. Mm. Um, sometimes when we look at uh, our national team, for instance, um, I can tell you now that we, we don't have our first lineup mm. that we, sh we, we show off, that we're going to you know, go to the, uh, in the Cup of Nations and we, this is how people are going to start. Mm. And we qualify to the Cup of Nations, but mm. we still don't have a first lineup. Mm. So that tells you that um, because of the emotions around us to say, why Neves is not there, mm. why so-and-so is not there, is because we're no longer looking at the performance uh, uh, side of it. No. We're looking about the number of players uh. from, okay, let's divide this thing. Naves, how many do you have? Yeah. Bring four. I'll bring four. Let's bring equally in yeah. there. We're no longer looking at the performances. Mm. So that it will, will push us back, like uh, like uh, the Dogwana say. Yeah. Barcelona team won the champion, um, yeah. the, the World Cup for, 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 for Spain. For, for Spain. Spain. Yeah. Yeah. And rightfully so. Mm. Uh, if you count the number of, of Barcelona players in that, in that, time, in that mm. time, you see that they were, they had so many numbers. Yeah. And they won the. the and they don't even look at the, the Barcelona. Which is, very, which is very important then because Coach Rulani spoke about how um, when he is not a fan of rotation because you lose the fluidity, mm. you lose those sort of things. But in the instance of the example of uh, Barcelona, mm. it then goes to prove that it actually works because those guys already know each other. They do. And then all the, the, the people that they're bringing as well into the team are just going to take it up a notch mm. and make it better for everybody else. Yeah. We need yeah. to stop looking at it in isolation yeah. and saying, mm, yes. my team has this many players and whatever. It's for the nation. It's for the greater good of everybody. Mm. Naves, it's one thing when we, we, we're having fun and, and, and joking about your team and all yes. that. But national, national team is a serious matter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we need to get to a point where when it comes to national matters, mm we all rally behind the team yeah. 100%. with less and emotions yes yeah and support the the the, the coach yes. and his technical committee yes. if he decides to put seven or eight sundowns players and all that so we shouldn't it. say no if we lose this game it's sundowns sundown sundowns <laughs> no 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 i think we should all say there are south african players yes. they, are, they are representing uh, yeah. all of us yes. you mm. understand yes. now by by putting so much pressure on the coach for yeah. a then regis will take a sundown yeah. then the coach will think twice before he goes to a plan that in, yeah, initially, he thought it yeah. could win him the game. And he's only human, so yeah, that will exactly. happen. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Our next opponent is T.P. Mazembe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mazembe is... Um, <laughs> Sure, I'm He's laughing because yo, oh, I know that team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah for, man. For, fortunately, I worked <laughs> with them for close on two years. Yes. I worked with Mazembe and I saw how much passion the owner, uh, Moise Katumbi, put into building that brand. Just mm. the same as what um, the former chairman of Mamelodi Sundowns, Dr. Mm. Patrice Motsepe, did in elevating this club. Yes. Mm. Katumbi is the same. He did that and uh, he built Mazembe into one of uh, the, the, powerhouse. most, the powerhouses oh, of African, African football. football. Yeah. And what he did was Right now, Sundowns is going to Mauritius. It's going to, uh, Trump was talking about going to play Leopards in Congo and mm. all that. So they would bring a team of scouts mm. who will observe that because they know Champions League is the best of the best. Yes, for them. So, yeah. Yes, for them. Mm. So when you get there, there is a team of scouts that are observing the opposition team. If there's an outstanding player in yeah. the opposition team and provided he can fit into the system of your own team. Mm. They buy him. They don't even, they yeah. don't even hesitate. They yeah, go for there. that player. Yeah. Mm. They go for, for that. They had mm. players from Zambia, 
bo bo rainford kalaba yes and they had still to sobira yes they had uh, kulibali yes they had um uh, absolutely are they the tp mazembe we, we used to fear so much um you know when you go into their territory where you would be like hey you tremble you're, yeah. tr you're trembling <laughs> are they still that team <laughs> not anymore not anymore, not anymore. but uh, you can tell that uh, they are rebuilding their yes team. yes and uh, it goes back to what the guanaito was saying yes that when you are still doing well Mm. Have a bigger plan, yeah. uh, and I think they let it too too. They, they let it uh, too long to press that uh, restart ah, button. Okay. So f that's why now they are still trying to catch up and yeah. build up the, the 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 strong team that they used to have, mm. and they are struggling with that to okay. accept that they are a big team, but they are struggling. Yes. But um, you can tell even when they are playing that they are so emotional. Mm. Uh, but. Um, I, I don't take them for granted. I know how how, how difficult it is to play in Lubumbash, <laughs> especially as you say the the hostile yeah, uh, supporters. Yeah, so that yeah. for me, I think it will give them that edge to yes. say they are playing at home, but they are not in that level mm. uh, anymore. Okay. And I think they're trying to get into that level uh, mm. again to say we want to compete in there. I saw them in the in the African League. Yes. Um, the new players that they, 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 they got there, you can tell that they're still trying to gel within the structure of the team. Yes. But this is, that is the team in Mazemba. Yeah. You cannot take them you for granted them and for say granted. you yeah. they are building and you're going to beat them. Those are, you need to make sure that you're still on top of your game. We saw the Weedad coach come out and ultimately say we took our opponents for granted and we got punished for it. So we can never mm. take any team for in granted. The Champions League, you can yeah. do that. No, it's Champions League. Yeah. Everybody that's it there is. has earned their place to be there. Not only that, but they always bring their A game yeah. sure. to Champions League because sure. they know, just like Trompo says, that TP Mazembe might be going through a rebuilding phase. Yes. But you don't take them for granted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because Champions League is a different <laughs> kettle of fish altogether. <laughs> a different yeah. animal. Different animal <laughs> altogether. The, the easy match that you see is easy. It's yeah. not an easy match. It, Never. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you might you might see them losing away to Nodibu, is it yes, Nodibu? Yeah. They might lose to the team in, in Mauritania, yeah. but you go to their stronghold in Oof. Lubumbashi Oof. and you, you say to yourself, ah, you know, they lost, so we go there, we'll collect three points. Yeah. Then you get hammered. You mm. ask yourself, what happened? Yeah. So it is also crucially important for Mamelodi Sundowns yes. mm. not to look at the results that Mazembe have been getting mm during the last couple of weeks and say it's going to be a walk in the park. Yes. Yeah. You go to their um, cathedral yes. in Lubumbashi oh. where oh. they don't sell tickets to anybody. No. no you know, only <laughs> one who is wearing... Black and white. Yeah. Who is, who is, who is a Mazembe supporter. <laughs> yes. You yeah. know, goes to the office yeah. and they know he's a registered supporter yes. of the club. Mm. They give you... They yes, sell you a ticket. Amazing. If you are an outsider, you come, they say, who are you? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So once they've sold the tickets to, to their supporters, they know that yeah. the 20,000 stadium will be packed with their own Into supporters. Sure. They start singing at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. They're so, waiting for you. They're yes. waiting for you. And by the yeah. time you come, it's intimidating. On your way from the hotel, <laughs> yes. it's intimidating. I'll yeah. never forget in, in uh, Egypt, to the, going to the final. Yes. Yeah. We had to leave, I think, they said six hours before kickoff. Mm -hmm. But everywhere on the way to the stadium, yeah. We were intimidated. There were even roadblocks. Yes. Oh. You have to <laughs> negotiate your way past roadblocks <laughs> and, and uh, go into the match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I was I was fortunate to be there. Yes, indeed. You know, same. and I remember we were staying at a hotel, which we were told that it's a. Uh, it's about 10 minutes drive to the stadium. Yes. Oh. Yet it took us two hours 100%. to get to. But after yes. the match, it was easy to after go back. After the match, it took us 10 minutes more to get back to yes. our hotel. Yeah. So, so yeah, that is, that is, that is Champions <laughs> League football. Champions League football. It's, it's the big time. Yeah. It's the big league. Mm. And you don't just get there simply because we like your looks. No, no, no you earn your rights. No, no. You earn your rights to, 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 yeah. to, to, pay, to participate in that space. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you guys very much. Really appreciate your time and imparting your knowledge on us. Um, yes, amazing. baby boy. I think we could speak for so much. You long. can't wear black. Come on, man. <laughs> we could speak for so much long. But this, this is what we is have good. to deal with, especially when this one is coming. <laughs> this is the Sundowns Pitch Side Podcast. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments before Dennis comes and uh, disturbs <laughs> us. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Not you can't wear black. Look at you.